Hello, I'm Yvonne Halling of BedroomBreakfastCoach.com and today I'm going to talk about finding and keeping great star. This thorny topic featured really highly in our recent survey about the biggest challenges that owners face. So if you're having trouble with your staff or you just can't seem to find anyone to help you, then I'm going to give you three tips today on keeping good staff and one final tip of finding great staff that you might find surprising. Tip number one. To find great staff, you've got to be a great employer. That means taking responsibility for how you show up. The culture and atmosphere that you create for your guests must extend to every single member of your team and it's up to you to help them carry that culture for you. If you're somebody who's prone to complaining or you're a bit pessimistic or you're in the habit of micromanaging people, your staff will just leave. People like to be respected so no matter what tasks that they're carrying out for you, they deserve your respect, even when they've maybe made a mistake. Tip number two, set clear expectations, preferably written down, that your staff can easily understand. Have all your procedures carefully documented so that they know how everything works at your property. Nothing's left to chance. Don't leave anything to chance. People like structure and boundaries. And when they're kind of fuzzy or they're not even, in, they're not even there, they tend to feel confused. And confusion leads to dissatisfaction, which leads to staff leaving. Tip number three, show appreciation often. Involve your staff in everything that goes well at your property, as well as things that don't go so well. Every five-star review needs to be celebrated with every member of your team, every time, so everyone understands that they played their part in the success of the business and that you know that they did it too. Communicating with staff when things go badly and forgetting about when things go well will lead to discontent and apathy and eventually resignations. Create a culture of positivity, inspiration and appreciation and your staff, they won't want to go anywhere else. They'll just want to stay with you. Tip number four, and this tip is on finding great staff. And here's what it is. Your own energy of optimism, positivity, and pride in what you offer will by itself attract good staff who want to do well for you and who want to stay. Your only job in this is to take good care of yourself and your energy. When people feel taken care of and loved, they won't bother going anywhere else. They'll simply stay with you. I know this sounds a little bit kind of out there, but it really does work. I won't go into the scientifics of it, but just know that we attract what we are. And if we complain, blame, and make excuses, we're going to attract situations and people that allow us to continue to do just that. So make a decision to raise your energy to what you want to experience and magic will just happen despite all the problems you may have had with staff in the past. If you'd like to know more about how to find and keep good staff, streamline your business so that you can free up even more of your time, then register below for my upcoming masterclass where I'll show you how to make more work less, pay less commissions, and have less stress. Click on the link below now to register, and I'll see you there.